Hi you guys, welcome back to One Teaspoon at a Time. This is week nine. Sorry for my voice, I've had a little cold for the past two weeks. Um, so this week we went back to OT on Friday. We haven't seen her for two weeks. Um, but Cadence has been doing really good. I feel like in the past two weeks she's made major progress. And I found a resource called It's Your Table. And they said that you have to take the pressure out of eating. And by that, it means I have to take the pressure off of myself, getting Cadence to eat, as well as pressuring her to eat. And so once I, um, earlier this week, I had um, mac and cheese. And instead of like forcing her and putting it in her own bowl and like trying to like make her um, interested in the food, I just put a plate for us to both share. I gave her a spoon, I had my own spoon, and I just started eating it. And as she seen me eating it, she started to get curious, and so she started to dip her spoon in and actually um, try it. And from that point, that's what I started doing with all of her meals. Um, and so she's been doing a lot better. Um, she'll basically at least try anything that you put in front of her. Um, the past two weeks before we've seen occupational therapy, she's tried cucumbers, carrots, celery. She eats yogurt almost every morning. Um, she eats strawberries almost every day. She's done watermelon, um, soup, like the chicken broth soups. Um, she's done mac and cheese, like I said, refried beans, um, fried rice, anything, anything that we're eating. Um, and we put in front of her, or like me and her will share, she's she's at least tried it. And so and on Friday when we seen the occupational therapist, um, I let her know kind of what we're doing and, and how our progress has come along. And um, she basically said that that's really good. And she reassured me that she is eating, like if she's eating a full strawberry and she's actually like eating yogurt and stuff like that, then that means that she is actually eating. Um, and now we just have to take it up like we have to increase the um, volume that she eats. So now we have to work on that and getting her um, to chew. Um, but anyway, so that was good news. She said that she's um, basically eating and we're just gonna be working on the um, chewing portion. She said just to keep doing her exercises at home. And I think I'm gonna do a video to show you guys what kind of exercises we do before she eats. Um, so maybe that'll help some families out there. Um, and she also said that we can move from the hard munchables, which Cadence was doing. Those are like the carrot, celery stick, um, cucumbers, anything like hard, suckers, stuff like that. We can move from that. That's, that's what eight month olds typically um, will start to, to chew on and things like that to like get their motor skills. Um, now she's at a nine month level and she is doing meltables. And meltables are like graham crackers, um, the Gerber cookies, Fruit Loops, any um, the yogurt bites or what are they called? Let me see. The yogurt melt, sorry. Um, waffles, rice, rice cookies, things like that. So the major changes um, this week were that our appointments are now only every other week. We're going to continue with the uh, mouth exercises to get her chewing. Um, we're going to incorporate her nook brush and different sauces. So we're going to dip the nook brush in different sauces and try to get her to chew on each side. Um, we're also introducing a lot of different foods into her diet. So we're doing like all of the meltables. We're moving away from the munchables. They'll still be there, but we're introducing something new for her, for that, um, obviously. Oh. So thank you guys for watching, and we will keep you informed. Bye.